I am a fighter for truth, justice, and the American way. That is a famous quote from Boss Boys, a 1987 horror comedy directed by Joel Schumacher. This story, and today I am doing my second part of my movie review of Boss Boys. A brief summary of the movie. A family of three <clears throat> moved from Air uh, Phoenix, Arizona to Northern California, Santa Cruz, California, known as Santa Carla, California, due to um, name, naming rights to be with a grandfather. There's an older, older brother named Michael and a younger brother named Sam. Sam meets up with a pair of kind, um, <clears throat> sorry, Sam meets up with these geeky comic book nerds, Edward and Alan, aka known as the Frog Brothers. Michael, the oldest, falls in love with Star at a concert on the beach, who is in love with David, the leader of a local gang of vampires. So it's up to Sam and his frog brother friends to save Michael and Star from the undead and break the curse of the vampire. Now, there's a lot to go on, a lot to dis uh, talk about on this, this film. Um, so this might be a long video. I might have to cut it into pieces, so please bear with me. Let's begin. This was the first movie that was majority filmed in the city of Santa Cruz, California, and the surrounding mountains of Santa Cruz. The music park um, was actually filmed on the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. There is a famous um, roller coaster known as the Big Dipper. Um, also a carousel that is still working till this day. Uh, there is a, there is a, a scene in the movie where um, the vampires hang out at in this cave. This is actually a real cave um, in Palados Verdes, California. It was actually the former location of the very first theme park in California called Marine Land. <clears throat> the boardwalk um, is still around in Santa Cruz, California. Um, the famous railroad scene um, is the famous railroad is still there um, off the side of the boardwalk and it's the famous scene where the vampires and Michael hang off of as a train rolls by. I was lucky enough to take my fiance to Santa Cruz, California um, for her birthday and actually get to take some pictures of me standing on the railroad tracks and uh, standing in front of the carousel where they did uh, some of the scenes for the movie. Unfortunately, the comic book store and the video store seen in the movie are not actually there. We, we looked, the both of us looked for it, but we could not find it. <clears throat> it was just a set that was designed uh, during the film, and after the movie was done, they disbanded uh, the set. There's also a f famous comic book that the Frog Brothers give Sam during the movie called Destroy All, Destroy All Vampires. It's a horror comic in which Sam says, I'm not into horror comics, and the Frog Brothers <clears throat> come back and say, well, our number's on the back, and pray that you don't have to call us. That comic is not real. It was only real during the shoot of the movie, the filming of the movie, sorry. It was a made-up comic. 
though there is a person um, that that I have found online that actually took screenshots of the film and actually created his own version of that comic. Um, don't quote me. Don't. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure if it's a hundred a hundred percent true. But what I saw online reading articles, um, it's actually true. So, I am going to move on to the cast of this phenomenal action packed horror comedy thriller, Roller Coaster Ride. Um, there is a big cast. <laughs> so, uh, Bernard Hughes was. The grandfather in the movie. Corey Haim was Sam. Corey Feldman was Edgar Frog. Keith Sutherland was play, uh, was David. Jason Patrick was Michael. Jamie Gertz was Star. Jameson Newlander was Alan Frog. Billy Worth was Dwayne. Alex Winter was Marco. Brooke Mc. Carter was Paul. Deanna Wes was Lucy, the mother. Edward Her Edward Herman was Max. He was the video store owner and the head vampire um, in the movie. Chance Michael was Laddie, um, the little... Um, the little girl, or sorry, the little boy that was part of the vampire gang. <clears throat> so, with that, there's a lot to talk about. Um, I am going to talk about some of the little fun facts that made this movie so unique and special in the time that it was filmed in. In 1987, we did not have IMAX. We did not have um, green screen uh, special effects that we do see today in our n now movies that are out. We used um, what effects we had at the time. Simple, practical, unique, um, but it worked. That's what made this movie so unique. Um, there's a major scene where the vampires turn um, from human to the vampire form, and their eyes seem kind of glassy. The reason for this is because this was the first movie... <clears throat> sorry. This was the first movie to introduce... Glass contacts lens lenses. Um, unfortunately, the reason why they could not um, wear them for so long is because they are glass. They would uh, their eyes would start to tear up, so they can only wear these um, lenses for four to five minutes at a time. So imagine wearing these things, and the director says cut. Reshoot. Yeah. Your eyes must have been really, really brutal. <clears throat> there was also a practical effect of dry ice and, and fog to enhance the viewers of death and perception. Uh, during the famous railroad scene, it looks like a huge, huge ravine um, that goes all the way down. Unfortunately, due to the, the, the practical effect of dry ice and, and uh, fog, it masked what was only about a two-foot drop instead of a 15-drop ravine. It's only two feet. Hey, cinematography, magic tricks right there. 